What's up, what's up, guys? Today's the 15th. Okay, okay. So we got that down. Uh, let's get a reading, right? Let's get a reading. All right. I want to call it a general reading, but let's see what spirit gives us. All right. Ready, shuffle, and split both of the decks. Homecoming? Ooh, I like it. Homecoming, happy family, happy life. Um, you know, stability, stable crib, stable lifestyle. Like, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see what's going on for this reading. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on for this reading. Ooh, both of these came into the challenge position. No bueno. Both of them were in the challenge position. Were you betrayed by a karmic energy? Let's see. Can you see that there? Hold on. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's do this right here. There you go. So, were you possibly betrayed by a karmic energy? All right? There we go. Confused, left you in your head about a situation. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. It's me. Oh, no. All right, there we go. We got to compromise, guys. There we go. Okay, so let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Backstab ten times. So, yeah. So apparently you were waiting on an offer, an investment. And uh, this investment turned out to just be a huge old slap in the face, a betrayal, a backstab. Forced you not to go into hiding, but to dial it back a little bit there, bud, and uh, really rest, get things to, to, to yourself. Like, get things organized for yourself. Really get your mental state back together. You had to heal. You were focused on a new beginning while well, stuck with this karmic energy. You had to realize what was being offered and what was actually being received. Right? Uh, let's get one more for the Ten of Swords. Just one more for the Ten of Swords, please. They did this to a Queen of Cups. Sweetheart. Loving, emotionally mature, emotionally intelligent. I said sincere. All right. That's a loser, bro. Not the queen, but this karmic energy is a loser, bro. Real talk. You don't you don't treat good people bad. You don't treat good people bad. You don't treat anybody bad, honestly. Take accountability for yourself. They should do the same, and there should be no beef. Anyway, let's clarify the devil, because this is really sad. This is really sad. So, now this Queen of Cups is a Queen of Swords. So, apparently, she put up her sword. Apparently, she learned her worth. Apparently, she decided to do something about some sort of boundaries, either implement them or stand up and make sure that, you know, feel me, they are applied firmly. Hmm. Huh. This karmic is wanting to come back and have some sort of exchange of dialogue, some sort of conversation, some sort of communication to bring justice and balance to the to the to the, to the to the to the to the immature nonsense that this pretty empress had to endure. They they want to make the scales balance because they're going through hell right now. Basically, they're receiving the same toxic karmic BS that they implement that they uh, chose or attempted to lay upon this beautiful queen of cups but they're facing their karma because this queen of cups is a righteous woman a righteous woman honest pure pure hearted pure intent the biggest heart the biggest cup of them all empathetic empathic you know what i mean good a great person phenomenal sweetheart everybody sees her as a sweetheart she is a sweetheart
So yeah, some sort of com- communication, dialogue, to balance out the situation. This karmic energy. Is a dummy. Anything else for the devil? Somebody's obsessively thinking about a partnership with this Queen of Cups. Hmm. Let's get some more on that, please. They want to commit to this particular beautiful energy. I said pre Empress. We got two of the energies on the board. Just saying. All right. They really want to commit to this partnership, to this Queen of Cups. We have a divine masculine coming home. This was just going to be a general reading. Uh, this is going to be a divine reading. Thank you, Emperor Masculine, for stepping on the table like that, demanding respect and authority. Three energies of the Empress, but not the Empress yet. Pre Empress on the board. Okay. Still rather discerning. She was hurt. I get it. She was hurt. We got to give her time, Emperor. Somebody's ready to come and take authority, take ownership, take accountability. Like, I want to provide for you. I want to be with you. I want to be your masculine energy. Ooh, okay. Who wants to come home? Homecoming. Soulmate type energy. You feel me? As I said, soulmate, right? All right? Soulmate energy, soulmate vibes. We need to look at that. Soulmate sounds cute, but the lovers is a choice. All right? Discernment. That makes no sense to me. There's three energies on this board. This masculine is in love with the Queen of Cups and committed to the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. One of them is the pre Empress, one of these is the pre Empress, one of them will be his Empress. Somebody's about to be backstabbed, and I'm thinking it's the Queen of Pentacles, or feel betrayed because of this offer going to somebody. Somebody's supposed to be expecting this, I guess, because they're already committed. Hmm, Mr. Masculine, are you interesting? Yes, you are. Let's see what's going on with this Queen of Cups real quick. Hmm, very interesting. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image relationship reflects wounds, blah, 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 blah. So, um, this masculine did the Queen of Cups wrong. Apparently, uh, he's wearing sunglasses. He's watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. All right? They're gas, like, they gaslit this Queen of Cups. Chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So that's why she hung in there this long, right? But the thing is, he's still watching her. And they're mirroring each other. Right? Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles is. This is why I don't like to pull this deck out. This deck is too gangster, bro. Hurts my feelings seeing these cards. Bottom deck, we have seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So apparently, the Queen of Pentacles is actually the third party. You're in love with somebody else, but you commit to somebody you're not in love with.
First card on the deck for the table for Queen of Pentacles was Coffin. Endings brings new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So as I said, they're leaving the Queen of Pentacles for whatever with this two of cups is the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Right, so okay. This is the Queen of Cups. This is over the whole relationship at just all together. Just ah, so figure that out. They gotta figure that out. And she's just done. This is just a done situation. Feel bad for her. Do I? I don't know what's going on in their relationship, nor do I want to get into their energy. All right now, how much time we got? Ooh, eleven eleven on clock. All right, let's do uh Figured out that. We did figure that out. We figured that out very nice. We did very good with that one, guys. So with this masculine energy. All right, you guys ready for the sob story? For all the lying, cheating, deceptive, and deceitful behavior, you feel me? I don't know if he wants to take accountability or just throw the blame in another area. So there's that. Let's check this out. So first things first is this masculine was questioning working with somebody. Wasn't sure if they wanted to actually put in the energy and effort in this situation. They were really only focused on being victorious and really about their ego. You know, wanted attention. Not so much to actually be in masculine and divine energy, but to be looked at in that light. So they decided to leave somebody in the cold. You know, they may have been going through some financial things at this particular time as well. Right. They did. So they left somebody on the cold so they can chase their emotional satisfaction. Their prayers, their manifestations. Right? You feel me? They left somebody in the cold to go for themselves. That's a great masculine. Great masculine. Divine Feminines get another point. Shout out to you guys because this guy sucks. Anyway, Chase decided to chase his own emotional satisfaction and fulfillment, leaving a beautiful Queen of Cups, somebody who they actually had feeling for, and somebody who extended a cup of love to them out in the cold to fill their ego and commit to another energy. The dummy gave them a romantic offer. Maybe they were confused about the situation they were putting themselves in. But for whatever reason, this now Queen of Swords, who was the Queen of Cups, is guarded defensive. Yes, she is, but she's at an advantage over the entire situation. Okay? Maybe because she's realizing how sneaky, deceitful, and deceptive he was. So she dropped her sword, changing the course of action, matching his energy, because as we see, they're mirroring each other at this bottom of the deck over there, remember? Coming, so she separated herself. But this masculine was also embodying this rather short, emotionless energy. All right? Causing all types of burdens for this queen of cups, queen of swords. But you know what? She grinded out. She grinded out. She was rejected, and she grinded out. She worked hard. She worked through it. 
Real talk, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is my story. To a T. She grinded out, she worked through it. All right, she took from an undeserving party and gave to herself. Put herself on that throne. You feel me? So at the end of the day, all she wants is a happy family. A family. Happiness. Unconditional love. Emotional fulfillment. Everything else can come with that because the Queen of Cups is aware that she can manifest anything with that heart space she got. She don't have the biggest cup for no reason. And now somebody's attempting to seize an opportunity. Oh, that same inconsistent player, right? What about it? What about it? All right, they want a passionate new beginning. They want that Ten of Pentacles, right? They want ba to balance out the situation with the Nine of Pentacles so they can add one pentacle and be a part of that Ten of Pentacles. Moocher. They're being guided towards you or guided somewhere. Possibly to hell. I don't know. Not real talk. I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. I'm not being so real. Because um, think about it. They're coming in to seize an opportunity for redemption and a homecoming, right? You already made a bad decision, right? You feel me? So the Queen of Cups became the Queen of Swords. You feel me? When she becomes the Queen of Cups, or the Queen of Swords, excuse me, she then changes up her whole MO. How she moves, how she thinks, how she does everything, how she how she's discerning now. Right? So this player energy may want to come in for this opportunity to take from this Queen of Pentacles and give to the Queen of Cups, who is now the Queen of Swords and emotionally detached from this energy. Right? So she's fleeing. She's leaving. She's out. Why? She had a passion and new beginning coming her way. Why? Because she manifested this for herself. Self-love. That's why I say self-love all the time. Right? And excuse me, but she's being spiritually guided towards her new beginning and her Ten of Pentacles. Right? Okay? This creep wants to be a part of this after they already made a bad choice. Right? Very good. Very good. Very, very good. How much time we got? 18 minutes so far. Okay. How am I going to do this? All right. I'm sorry guys, I'm not prepared for this. I didn't expect to create make the board like this. Yeah, so see that? Okay. Good there. Let's check out the masculine. The Emperor. Finish this up here. Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you. Nostalgia. They want to make new memories. Right? Something about an engagement ring. They want to get engaged now all of a sudden. Maybe because you popping and you're doing your thing. You feel me? Getting your bag on your own. You feel me? Girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Having fun. Okay, so that's the facade they're attempting to put on. Remember that was in reverse. Um, so that's the image they're trying to put out there but you know it's really just a cover-up for what's actually going on palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance and fertility that's what they're fearful of right now they're looking for the stability they thought the stability was with the queen of pentacles unfortunately they're realizing that the true stability was with the queen of cups whom is who's now the queen of swords disgusting abundance in reverse Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. 
which means they're not doing that. They're stuck in their feelings. They are being rather resentful. They're refusing to move on. They're refusing to grow, take accountability. And how can anything manifest for you if you are not doing so? Hammer in reverse. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, receptive, persistent, working on it. So they're not planning on working on anything and maintaining the same crappy antics, behavior, and BS. Okay. So expect a call, a love call, right? Where someone will express their love and a message of love and thinking about you and all that other stuff. But be prepared to let them know that it's not enough. Um, you're frustrated in the relationship. There's a lack of confidence. There's constantly self-sabotage. And there's fear and ego issues all throughout this entire journey. And jealousy. All right. So. Let them down easy, guys. You feel me? You have a new beginning coming your way. So don't even worry about it. We have to close out these cycles. That apparently, that's what that full moon is about. Releasing. Y'all tired of this? Don't this hurt? Y'all ain't tired of this? I thought I left you back there. And now for some reason, you keep popping on my table. Oh, now I know. Oh, I had to release you so I can have the abundance of my next life. But in our defense, guys, once we deal with these problems, we will never have to deal with them again because we truly learned our lesson. We heal from it and we break that generational curse, cycle, whatever the nonsense is. Oh, that was intense, bro. This emperor is a douchebag. Everybody else, I hope you have a great day. This masculine, bro, you got it coming. It is what it is. Sorry. Be easy.